Republican attorneys general in six states are now trying to intervene in Texas's long-shot lawsuit attempting to overturn the presidential election results in the U.S. Supreme Court, as the lawsuit has gained steam among President Donald Trump and his allies even as legal experts and other Republicans widely deride the litigation as meritless and sure to fail. The Texas lawsuit is part of a broader effort by the Trump campaign and GOP to challenge the election results in the courts, which has resulted in more than 50 failed lawsuits and only one minor win. The Texas case has become a particular flashpoint within the legal strategy, even after the Supreme Court swiftly rejected a GOP-led challenge of Pennsylvania's election results, with Trump calling the lawsuit the case that everyone has been waiting for. Though many of the president's allies have backed the litigation, the challenge has become a source of controversy within the Republican Party, with a number of top lawmakers and officials siding with the experts who believe the case is legally unsound. I frankly struggle to understand the legal theory, Texas Senator John Cornyn told CNN, while Senator Ben Sass Arneb, said in a statement the complaint, looks like a fella begging for a pardon filed a PR stunt rather than a lawsuit. Paxton is reportedly under FBI investigation for abusing his office to benefit a wealthy donor. In addition to the states throwing their support behind Texas's lawsuit, Ohio filed an amicus brief Thursday that does not support either side of the litigation. The brief asks the court to decide whether federal law allows, state courts, and state executive officials, to alter the rules by which presidential elections are conducted, but says it, cannot support, Texas's request for the court to invalidate the other state's election results. The targeted states in the Supreme Court case are required to submit their response to the lawsuit by 3 p.m. Thursday, and the Supreme Court's decision in the case will likely come within the coming days, given that the Electoral College meets Monday to finalize state's election results. Legal experts have made clear they believe the case is, doomed to fail, and will not be taken up by the courts, however, despite Trump and his allies' hopes.17 states agree the Supreme Court should overturn Biden's win, Forbes, Texas asks Supreme Court to overturn Biden's win in last-ditch election lawsuit, Forbes, prominent Republicans reject Trump-backed lawsuit to overturn election, Forbes, Trump's new lawyer has promoted birther conspiracy theories about Kamala Harris's citizenship, Forbes.